Today, let's take a look at the Ingwing e-bike. Color readout display, adjustable pedal assist from one through five, front and rear hydraulic brakes, powerful electric horn, front and rear caliper disc brakes, 48 volt, 750 watt motor, easily foldable for storage or travel, left hand thumb throttle real sensitive too so you got to be careful seven speed thumb gear shift nice leather grips our rear brakes rear brake light LED headlights. All right, that's enough talking. Let's skip to my favorite part. Putting this bike through the test. Very smooth ride. Pedal assist is really, really, really smooth. So it doesn't jerk you around like some other electrical bikes. It kind of picks up really slow according to you. I like that. That jerky stuff, that's not for me. I know it can be adjusted, but that's not for me. Going down steep hills like this really lets me test out this braking system. The four inch fat tires really makes for a smoother ride. I don't show it very well, but this rear suspension makes for a really nice ride. You know, the horn wasn't very loud, but it was just loud enough to get people's attention when I was coming through. Everything is in the reach of your fingertips. You never have to take your hands off the grip to do anything. Here I'm setting the throttle control to maximum to see how fast we can go with just using the throttle. This is one of the fastest e-bikes that I've ever reviewed. This is the most capable fold-up bike I've ever tested. Suspension in the rear and the front, that's tripping me out. The power, I've had fold-up bikes before, but I've never tested one like this, ever. This is like the perfect bike to go to the park or take on vacation with you. Okay, you guys, I've been running this thing for a while now and I'm already impressed. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it started out as not going to be one of my favorite bikes. I got a list of things that I go down to try to figure out what's gonna be good, what's gonna be bad. This was gonna be one of the bikes that I tested last because I knew I was gonna give it a thumbs down. This bike has dual suspension, front and rear suspension. It's one of the, no, it is the fastest fold-up bike. It completely folds down. It's the fastest fold-up. The most comfortable fold-up. I have one downside. One, where your grip is, that's where you want your brake. But here is your gear shifter right in the middle of that. So when your hand is in there, and gripped around here, you're touching that shifter right there. So to grip your brakes and then to come back, it always shifts my brakes, I mean shifts my gears. So I know they're trying to keep the handlebars really tight so it can fold up easily, but this should have been thought of a little different. I may have to slide this in about an inch or so 
so my hands aren't in the way because my two fingers can grab that brake. Other than that, I really have nothing bad to say about this bike. Everything on it, the digital color readout screen, the speed, I didn't think I was gonna like the thumb throttle on the left-hand side at that. I end up loving that. Everything about this bike so far is blowing my mind. This, this thing is incredible, 750 watt motor, dual suspension front and rear that now that is just just that that makes for an incredible ride fold up pedals to help you fold this whole thing when they say this thing is foldable this whole thing is foldable and i'm going to show you that later but for now we're going to finish our ride and then i'll take any questions you got